Hello Capricorn, this is Deborah, and you know what that means, another edition of TGIF. Lovely that you've joined me, thank you so much for coming back to the channel. And for those of you newbies, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I hope you're enjoying these readings. So Cabby, let's see what's going on for you, energies between you and your person. Coming into the weekend and a brand new week. Do remember to check your other placements, guys, and... Um, what else was I going to say to you? Yes, for those of you who are panicking, thinking, oh my God, she's doing weekly readings. We're not going to get the nice long readings every month. No, 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 no. I'm going to be doing a proper monthly reading for all signs in addition to these weeklies, in addition to the twin flame reading. Okay, so you've got enough to uh, keep yourself busy. <laughs> okay, Gabby, let's see what's going on between you and your person. Here we go. Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. What do you have for my lovely Capricorns, please, Michael? Friday, the 14th of February, Valentine's Day, coming into the weekend, into a brand new week. Thank you, Michael. Taking a breather, are we Capricorn? Yeah. <laughs> I can see a girl and she's like collapsing onto a sofa, exhausted. Oh my goodness, Cappy, are you working too much? You do work, Caps. You do. You're like the cart horse. You keep going and you push yourself to extremes. Yeah. All righty, guys. Maybe it's time to put your feet up. Let's see what's going on. Yeah. Seeing someone that needs a little bit of R&R. &R. Okay. Let's see where this goes. <laughs> Bless you. Okay. <laughs> Kathy, I'm getting an image of a girl on, on a cell phone to another girl. And one of them is saying, you've got to come out. You've got to come out. We're going to have fun. We're going to have fun. And there's some, there's another girl that's looking at the phone going, nah, I just don't feel like it. I'm too tired. I can't be bothered. I'm just really not wanting to do it. <laughs> yeah. Rather, rather curl up on the sofa, right? With Netflix, glass of wine, your pets. <laughs> Yeah, been there. Okay, let's check out Psychic Tarot, John Holland. Here we go. Archangel Michael, can we have two cards, please, from the Psychic Tarot deck? Thank you. Two cards from the Psychic Tarot deck. Energies between Cappy and their person. Thank you. Last but not least, guys, Kipperdak, John Holland. Sorry, Kipperdak, Sira Marchetti. Thank you, Michael. <laughs> Archangel Uriel is with me today. Okay. All right. So two cards from the Kipperdak, please, Michael. Thank you. One and two. Flighty energies. Interesting. Okay, guys. Can you see those? Yeah. All right. I know I'm annoying. I'm just moving the cards a fraction so you can see them. There we go. No music today because my Wi-Fi is totally crap. Okay, no excuses. I'm sure you don't mind. <laughs> Keeps going on and off, which is really annoying. Okay, it's just crap French Wi-Fi. Right, guys, uh, let's check out your current energy, okay? Yeah. Hanging man. <laughs> Waiting. Waiting uncomfortably for things to change. Maybe you have a Pisces on your mind, Cappy. Okay. You could, for some of you, feel a little bit trapped in a situation. I want to get out. I want to get out. I can't get out. But there is something that you are determined to wait for. Now, this is also sacrificing yourself for something that isn't benefiting you. Is this work? I mean, this could be a career reading, guys. Are you sacrificing yourself for your job, feeling exhausted, thinking I thought something has to change? Something has to change. I cannot keep doing this. Hmm. Maybe you've been waiting, waiting, waiting for a bonus pay rise. It's not coming. You're getting annoyed. I'm putting in all this time and effort at work. Hmm. Let's see what the next card is. Yeah. Wow. Justice in reverse. Now, in terms of work, if we are looking at work, because I'm just seeing somebody exhausted, 
You could be feeling you're in a very unbalanced, unjust situation. You're thinking of ending your job, handing in your notice. This is a severing of a legal contract. You could also be waiting for a Libra to come back to you, Cappy, but maybe they're not. This is Libra in the reverse. You may also be waiting for something to happen pertaining to somebody else, maybe waiting for somebody to get divorced. This is love. There's a lot of people out there. This could be a message for several of you. Yeah, you're beginning to feel more positive about the situation. You're no longer looking at the cup's half empty. Your attitude is, no, my cup's half full, not half empty, right? Feeling more positive about things. A lot of people get that mixed up the wrong way around. I don't understand. <laughs> um, but yeah, but this is you feeling very sad, very lost. Everything's not happening. You know, everything's not worked out for me. The cups are spilled. This is you suddenly feeling more positive about things. Now, this can, of course, you be you trying to remain positive, still waiting, but feeling very unbalanced in a situation, whatever this is for you. Let's check out the other person's energy. Oh, okay. Mm. The other person is in an affair situation. Cappy, maybe with you, right? You're waiting for somebody to divorce. You're having an affair. You're waiting, 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 waiting. Nothing is going to happen or nothing is happening. You're frustrated. The lovers in reverse is also your person making a choice between maybe you and someone else. This is also the energy of Gemini. Maybe a very unbalanced Gemini in your environment, cats. Ten of Cups. Somebody's in a long-term commitment, but somebody might also have come to the end of a long-term commitment. Somebody may be happily having an affair while still in a relationship and not willing to make a change. Seven of Cups in reverse. Somebody has made their choice. Somebody's come out of confusion. Cabby, if you're waiting for someone to divorce to be with you and you're having an affair with somebody, I have to be honest, it doesn't look, it doesn't look as if they are going to make a change to their long-term relationship. This is somebody who continues to stay in a relationship. whilst having an affair. They've made that decision. You are maybe in a situation where you may be waiting for a divorce to finalise, remaining positive. So Cappy, if you are in a third party with someone and you're, you are either just divorced or you're waiting for your divorce to finalise, your person is not planning on getting divorced to free themselves. So you may be waiting for nothing. Now, if not, Cappy, you are potentially wanting to divorce, but your person is hanging on to the relationship because of financial stability, because of the kids, because of what other people are going to think. But they are very clearly having an affair. Message for a lot of you, remember that. This could go so many ways, so many ways. Psychic tarot. Mm, positive movement forward. Now, this could be long distance. There could be water between the two of you. Somebody here seems to be heading to the sun. Somebody could be wanting to just move towards their happiness and feel as if they're progressing in their life. Yeah, I'm feeling happy. This is your energy. Having memories of maybe when the two of you were happy. Maybe feeling as if you have to let this person go that you've been hanging on to, waiting, almost sacrificing yourself. You're trying to remain positive. But that card is right next to the energy of you feeling very unbalanced and feeling in an unjust situation and maybe not wanting to see you got your back turned to the divorce card. 
I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I'm going to wait for things to change. Maybe you need to wake up. Wake up to the reality of this. Perhaps for some of you, okay? Wow, beautiful people. Difficult readings, right? But we are at the beginning of 2020 where things are going to change. 2020 is all about making serious decisions. Zero is the God force number, the divine pushing us forward onto our true life paths with the person that we are supposed to walk through the rest of our life with. Wow. Let's check out Kipper. Poverty. Somebody is desperately worried about money in a situation. Maybe that's why they are staying in a relationship. Wow. Cough in. Now, don't worry. People who look at this card and get panicky. No, I don't feel that this is about somebody actually passing away. I think this is you coming to the realisation that this relationship is, dare I say it, dead. We have a nine and a one. This is completion. I think you're hanging on to a relationship, can't be that is dead and gone. You're needing to let it go. You're not wanting to. You're trying to remain positive, but somebody here is also turning their back on thinking about divorce. And this is you. You're sacrificing yourself, Kathy, for no reason. Okay? And this is the divine saying, Caps, don't keep yourself stuck in an unfulfilling relationship where you could be happy with somebody else, maybe. Okay? Okay. Guys, tricky reading, but there we go. Um, take care of you. If this is your story and you want to know how this pans out, reach out. Down below is um, my website, debraclair.com. Take care of you guys. Have a really good weekend, whatever you're doing. Put your feet up. You seem to. You need it. Um, that vision of that woman saying, I'm absolutely exhausted. Take care of yourselves. Treat yourself gently. And I shall be back next Friday. Okay, guys. Take care. Much love. Bye now.